Good day to you people. My name is Mohit. Uh, guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a flash preloader. Right, so let's start. I'm going to click on this create new action script 3 file. Right, guys, I would need at least two layers to start working. I already have one layer, which is the default layer, layer 1. I'm going to add one more layer. Okay, the top layer, which is right now layer 2, I'm going to call it AS3 because I'm going to place action script 3 out there and the bottom layer, I'm going to place the content out there, I'm going to call it content. Cool. Alright. Uh, now I'll select the first frame of the content layer guys and uh, I'm going to hit the text tool and uh, let me place a classic dynamic text out here. Now this class classic dynamic text is going to hold uh, the percentage value of the preloader. Alright and uh, I'll make sure that the behavior is set to single line okay it's not selectable it is uh, aligned to the center the anti-alias is set to anti-alias for animation and uh, let me go with uh, the font let's say MV Bolly right I'm gonna hit the embed button right I'll make sure that I'm uh, using the numerals because I'll be using the numbers for the percentage sign and I'm also em I'm going to embed this character as well so I'm going to just uh, you know I'm embedding only 12 characters guys and that's all that I need I'm happy let me say okay right okay cool so and the instance name I'm going to choose as status underscore txt right the next thing guys that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a preloader so I'm going to hit the rectangle tool and let me draw a preloader. Right. Let me say a control Z. The stroke thickness is a bit too much. Let me go with three. Let me draw it again. All right. That should be good enough. Let me move it uh, upwards a little bit. Right. Guys, uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select only the fill, not the outline, right? I'm going to say F8 and uh, making sure that my registration point is middle left. I'm going to say OK, convert it to a movie clip. All right. In doing so, guys, uh, you can notice that the outline has uh, kind of hidden itself. So next, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose only the outline now. Double click on it so that all the four sides of the outline get selected. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say convert to symbol and uh, I'm going to say OK. So this is a different, uh, you know, the outline is a different movie clip and the fill is a different movie clip. I'm going to go and place the fill back inside. And now guys, uh, everything is sorted. OK, cool. So guys, the internal fill, I'm going to call it bar. Right, okay. So, guys, um, the uh, you know the prep work or the preparation for the preloader is done. Now we need the action script to fire off the preloader. Okay, so I'm going to select the first frame of the AS3 layer. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to actions, and I'm going to start now. Okay, guys, the first thing that I would want is to use the stop parent parent method. Okay, that'll ensure that uh, unless and until the preloader has uh, done its complete run it will not go on to the next frame cool okay guys next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a event listener to the timeline and this is how you do it so add event listener alright and that will be enter frame event alright and uh, since it's going to calculate how much percentage has loaded out of uh, you know how many bytes out of how many bytes have loaded so since it's got to do with calculation I'm gonna call the function calculate right so that's calculate right and then guys I'm gonna define the function calculate so here goes function and uh, that's let's calculate actually calculate right copy and paste out here and in the parents guys I I'm supposed to pass in the event so that's event event alright 
and a cordon right out here. Okay, cool. Right. So guys, I'm ready to uh, define my function now. The first thing that I would want to do is I would want two variables. Variable uh, loaded and variable total. Alright. And uh, after that, I'm going to tell Flash what exactly is variable lo loaded. Now this variable loaded is actually equal to uh, the total bytes loaded and the way to calculate the total bytes loaded is uh, this so this dot stage dot uh, loader info property guys of the stage and uh, the sub property is bytes loaded so that's bytes loaded right now this dot stage dot loader info property sub property bytes loaded will give me a number all right will give me a number that then uh, gets saved in the variable loaded cool similarly guys uh, let me copy this much and let me paste it out here now the other variable is equal to instead of bytes loaded I'm gonna say bytes total alright now through this dot stage dot uh, loader info dot bytes loaded and this dot stage this is the timeline the stage the loader info property and the sub property bytes total I'll get uh, I get both the numbers okay the loaded and the total respectively all right so basically these two variables will help me calculate uh, how much of the project you know has actually loaded cool okay guys the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um, let's say variable num1 is equal to Mm, loaded by total and guys this va you know the 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 variable num1 is always going to be a value between 0 and 1 always right so that's always a value between 0 and 1 cool next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say bar and if you remember that was the fill of the rectangle that we had drawn scale X I'm gonna stretch it but as much as num1 right so if num1 is 1 the entire bar will show and if it's 0 it will not show at all so the result will be this event which is an enter frame event and guys if you know enter frame events fire at FPS frames per second right so the default frames per second is 24 frames per second the function will fire 24 times in one second and uh, that will actually elongate or stretch the bar from left to the right and that's exactly what we wanted cool we also want a, a percentage indicator okay so it goes like this so status uh, underscore txt right that was the name of the that was the name of the yeah of the text field cool so status underscore txt using the text property on that and I'm gonna make it equal to num1 alright into 100 that should calculate the total percentage right and but that'll be a fraction guys and just in case I need to round it I'm gonna use the math.floor function guys okay that'll bump the fraction down so math.floor of num1 into 100 now num1 into 100 is loaded by total into 100 that, that'll give us the percentage of how much uh, let's say of the timeline has uh, actually loaded cool but guys uh, we cannot feed a number inside a text field and uh, so the, the workaround is that I should add a percentage sign out here alright so if you add a string to a number the result is always uh, a string and you can always save a string in a text field so that will save us a lot of trouble alright so math.floor of num1 which is loaded by total in 100 cool right and uh, then guys I'm gonna write an if conditional so 
let me make the basic structure okay so I'm gonna say if loaded is equal to is equal to total now that'll happen only when uh, the the picture or whatever it could be voice as well has completely loaded whatever is there on the timeline has completely loaded and once it has completely loaded if loaded becomes equal to total then guys what should flash be doing is this it should first be uh, removing the event listener we don't need the event listener anymore so I'm gonna say instead of add event listener out here I'm gonna say remove makes a lot of sense I don't need the uh, event listener anymore I don't want it to listen to any event now since my work is done and then I'm gonna say next frame next frame uh, means go to go to the next frame and stop out there okay I don't need to say stop it just means that okay so I'm gonna push since uh, we had used stop out here I'm, I'm through the next frame property uh, the next frame method guys I'm gonna make sure the playhead moves on to the second frame cool and that's it all that I need to do right now is let me first check if there are any syntax error there is one actually line number 17 now right let's see what is the error okay uh, I had given an extra space out here so all correct now everything is sorted so next thing that I need to do is guys I'll go to the timeline let me uh, minimize the actions panel I'm gonna select the content layer I'm gonna go to the second frame of uh, the content layer I'm gonna press F7 out there guys which is a blank frame I'm gonna get in a big picture a real big picture so that we can see the preloader clearly all right I'm gonna say file I'm gonna say import I'm gonna say import stage I'm gonna fetch the picture the big picture you actually need a big picture to see the uh, preloader properly guys and then I'm gonna pick that picture up from the desktop watch here I have a nice wallpaper I'm gonna resize the wallpaper right now it's set to 2560 by 1600 I'm gonna say 550 uh, by in fact uh, let me shrink it a little bit more right and then let me place it uh, in the center like this rather let me use the align tool guys let me say align to center yep that's sorted let me change the color of the stage to black right so I'm all set to test the project guys and uh, let me go with a control enter on my keyboard guys so there goes okay the first time you say control enter guys you will not get this simulation to get the simulation of the preloader either you need to say simulate download or you need to hit control enter once again so I'm gonna hit control enter once again guys and uh, there you see the simulation guys and there you have the picture it's all very cool all very nice and all very easy guys guys this is how uh, you make a nice uh, preloader and uh, wasn't too difficult was it guys so I hope you like this tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed it too uh, I'll see you very soon with yet another flash and action script 3 tutorial and hopefully you'll have a better throw at that time I'll see you very soon bye bye peace